Yeah. So right here. Yep. And then these are the guys we'll be chatting with. And guys, we got Kobe here, so he can take a seat. How y'all doing? So, so same thing as always, guys. Raise uh raise the hands, and we'll get your uh, questions queued up, and we'll go from there. So who's first? Peter, go ahead. Hi, Kobe. Uh, who's who's one player on either side of the ball that that you think could surprise some people this year, and why why do you think that? Uh, I'm always gonna go for my D line because I that's who I'm with all the time. So looking at it, I feel like uh Zay uh. Isaiah McGuire, uh, he's uh, he's going to be a sophomore this year. I feel like he's going to be a big surprise on the field. Uh, Kill Byers, too. Uh, also, Markel and uh, Darius Robinson. I feel like they're gonna, they have a lot to show and a lot to give to the team. Natalie Jones, go ahead. You know, there's been a lot of talks about reduced capacity at games. I'm not going to ask you about any of the specifics here, but I am curious, you know, on game day, what do those crowds mean to you guys? And what does it, you know, mean to you to possibly not play as, play in front of a much smaller crowd than you're used to? Well, uh, I'll enjoy that. I wouldn't mind seeing uh, the big crowd normally come out to come out to support the Mizzou Tigers. Uh, it means a lot that you see people come out and support you and what you do. So missing out on that, it, it'll suck, but it's for a reason. Ben or Nat, go ahead. So, Kobe, for, for someone like you who's got a lot of experience and, and has done a lot but wants to improve, where are your, you know, biggest points of emphasis throughout camp, things you're trying to refine, add, that kind of thing? Uh, I'm trying to be more of a technician. Uh, when it comes down to pass rush, I found my best four moves, trying to refine them every day, out, every day, every day doing practice, keep trying and keep trying. So I can become a better, a better pass rusher, a better run stopper, and you know, hopefully people can see that and so on for there. Andy Kimball, go ahead. Hi, Kobe. Um, I know you were the team leader in sacks last year, but overall the team kind of struggled with the pass rush. What are some things that you guys as a defensive line will need to do over the fall to kind of improve in that area? Uh, as I say, it's an everyday type of thing, everyday working type of thing to improve. Uh, we're going to go out there, practice on that pass rush, doing one-on-ones, doing the time Coach Haley got us. And hopefully from that, you can see us improving. You can see that on the field uh, Saturday nights and Saturday Saturday games. Sweet, you go ahead. Hey, Kobe. Um, Jamal last week said you, you were kind of the guy initiated conversation about just wearing masks and being safe and everything with students coming back. I was just wondering, you know, how are you kind of taking that leadership mantle a little bit um, and just kind of stepping up now that, you know, you are a senior and everything? Uh, talk to my guys every day in our group chats and whatever group chat that we're in. Talk to them every day, trying to tell them the importance, give them out information that I found um, with while I'm watching the post and different uh, and different sites, I can give to them help help see why they need to wear a mask and see the importance why they need us to social distance from people. Eric Blum, go ahead. Hey Kobe, how do you how does your game change or how do you adapt without a guy like Jordan Elliott next to you? Uh, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to find a Jordan Elliott to play with you. You know, uh, but it's it's about trying to. Trying to improve yourself, and we're blessed. I'm blessed to have other teammates too to help that. Uh, so you know, next man to next man up type of thing, and just keep on trying to improve your craft. Dan Matter, go ahead. Hey Kobe, with uh, now that you guys know the schedule, you know who your first first opponent is going to be. Does that um, how does that kind of influence? The preparation, just the, your your mentality, knowing that it's Alabama in week one. Well, tell you on the truth, I am happy. I'm happy to see how hard the schedule is going to look. I'm happy to see that it's going to be competitive. I don't know how it's going to come out to be. I don't know what it's going to look like. But to see that I know it's good players, and every day, like every in each conference, each team about to play, and I'm really psyched for it. So knowing that I'm about to play some some future stars and those future NFL guys, and I can play against them and try to prove myself with these guys, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy for the competition that about to come touch on uh, for Old Field. Colin, go ahead. 
Hey, Kobe, I know with, with the change in head coach and some of the offensive staff, a lot of the focus has been on, on what's different. And coach has been talking about, you know, every fall camp, every season, every team is different. But are there any things that are the same that, that have carried over that you like? Uh, the thing that carried over that I like, uh, well, Coach Oldham and Coach Ring, I feel like they both had good energy and stuff. So, like, things like that, it's like – but I'm also just liking seeing how Coach Rink is lead and seeing how Coach Odom lead, and they both lead in the same way type of. So, like, you know, stuff like that. Mitch Forty, go ahead. Kobe, you've played alongside some some good defensive tackles in your, your time here at Missouri. You mentioned Jordan Elliott, Terry Beckner, Walter Palmore. I'm curious, now that you're kind of the, the senior leader in the middle of that defensive line, um, what, what have you taken from those guys, if anything, uh, in terms of, of leadership? Um, seeing guys amazing in the NFL and where I'm at now, I see how hard they work, uh, especially with Jordan. I see how he hard worked, how hard he worked on the field and where it got him to. So just learning from that, seeing how he led, uh, taking that from him and seeing how hard he worked. It's just, I just had to prove myself to be a leader like they did. All right. The last one for Kobe comes from Nate Edwards. Nate, go ahead. Kobe, if, if it was completely up to you, would you want to only play an SEC schedule, or would you prefer to play a schedule that includes teams from all other conferences, including an SEC schedule? You know, I like to play the SEC schedule, but just to be that, not be that guy, but I want to see, like, everybody. I want to see, like, you know, more competition come in. So, like, the Big 12, the ACC, I wouldn't mind playing against them. But seeing this SEC schedule, I'm down for it. I'm really enjoying it. I see we got Alabama, then we got uh, – Who's next? Vanderbilt, I think. Tennessee. Tennessee. Then we got uh, LSU. I'm, I'm pretty psyched. Like they're real known teams. Got opportunity to show my, show what I can do against them. I'm happy. This this is perfect to me. Well, that's it for Kobe, guys. Thanks. All right. Y'all have a nice day. Hey, I'm psyched. Yeah, that's what.